What's up everybody? It's your boy Dallas coming to you with another YouTube video. I hope you're having a great day so far. And in this video, I want to share with you five key lessons you need to take away from the irresistible offer by Mark Joyner. But before I get into it, I really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be posting more entrepreneurship, uh, business, finance, and marketing related content in the future. So if that's something you're interested in, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. With that being said, uh, let's get right into it. The Irresistible Offer by Mark Joyner is a book that you should definitely read if you're if you own a business or you have a brand and you're you're producing something, putting something out into the world that you're offering, and um, you, you basically want to make that more effective. Uh, either you want to have more of an impact or you want to earn more income with your offers. Uh, this is a book to, to help you refine your thoughts and um, really sharpen what you offer to the market. So let's let's get right into it. The first lesson I feel like you should take away from this book is the offer is core to your business. Um, without the offer, business cannot be done. Um, and, and everything we do, uh, especially relationships and directly connected to business, we must make an offer to someone else and they must interpret that offer as being valuable or helpful to them for them to accept. Um, therefore, the major important factor uh, about this is if you do own a business and let's say you're spending time actually fulfilling the work, right? Um, but you're not spending time on a daily basis talking to new prospects and making offers. What will eventually happen is your pipeline will, will run out um, unless everybody's a recurring client and they always recur. Uh, but more than likely, some things will fall through the cracks. And uh, if you're not making daily offers now, then basically a month or two from now, you're going to be feeling the pain from that. So you should have somebody who's dedicated to talking to your prospects and, and letting them know what you do, but more importantly, making offers on a daily basis so that you can continue to grow your business. Okay. The second tip uh, I believe you should get from this book is um, you should craft your irresistible offer using the three components of the irresistible offer. Number one, that's touchstone. Number two is believability. And the third element of an irresistible offer is high return on investment. We'll talk a little bit about touchstone in the future, but uh, Mark Joyner uh, points out how Domino's had one of the most successful touchstones um, of our generation, which was if it's not there in 30 minutes, then it's free. And, and that today is still, people still talk about that. Now Domino's has, has altered their touchstone a little bit, but people still talk about that original one because it was so successful. Um, and the way I've been able to get kind of better at developing my touchstone is taking a look at some of the bigger brands, especially on Instagram, because there's not a lot of bio space allowed and seeing what they use as their first line, because more than likely it's going to be their touchstone. OK, the second element of the irresistible offer is believability. And what that is, is that's securing the social proof in text form in videos and across online that basically show that you know what you're talking about, that you're credible and, and that you can help people solve their problem or the one that you're attempting to solve with your offer. So the more believability you have, the easier it will be to have people accept that irresistible offer. And the third element is high return on investment. Since we are human, you know, uh, our time here is finite. And uh, some of us, most of us, I'm still doing it in part, are trading our time for money. So we treat time and money both very valuable. You know what I'm saying? They're very, for, for people, these resources are important. So if your offer does not help people save time in their life or make something faster for them, if it doesn't help them save money or earn more money, then the likelihood that you'll last in business is, is very unlikely because people don't tend to just burn cash, right? They want a return on, on what you're offering. And the higher you can, you can prove that the return on investment is 
for what you're offering, then the more likely someone will be to accept your offer, as long as you have the believability there. Uh, but what Mark says is, is too much return on investment, right? If the, if the return on investment looks crazy or uh, you're serious, I think that's the word, but it looks extreme, then um, you'll have to have way more believability. And it's, it's kind of harder, even more tricky to sell in, in that arena. Um, so I'm getting off topic. Let's, let's bring it back. The third thing you should get from the irresistible offer is once you've crafted your much better offer, the one that, you know, you originally had an offer and now you have an irresistible one, then what you want to do is you want to locate yourself on platforms where people are hanging out like your prospects, right? So the, the analogy, uh, Mark gives is to basically bring a refreshing, I'm, I'm, taking, I'm taking this all out, but bring a refreshing drink to a place where there are people who are thirsty uh, for what you're offering. So basically develop your offer, okay? And while you're developing your offer, maybe you're already on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, whatever, but identify some more platforms where your prospects are, are hanging out. Maybe that's Reddit, uh, Facebook groups, I've tried Quora. Quora is, is pretty cool at, at finding niche groups as well. And then you you present your offer. Um, present some other valuable stuff first. No one likes anybody who's just presenting offers all day long. Um, but, but give some value to those groups. And then when the time is right, present your irresistible offer to a group of people who are looking for that type of stuff. All right. The fourth thing I want you to get from this book is the big four. And the big four is, is essentially what your audience, uh, your prospects are always asking in their heads. Um, let me make sure I get them correct. Number one is what are you selling? Number two is how much will it cost me? Number three is what's in it for me? And number four, why should I trust you? The touchstone that you develop, that one liner, it's not your motto, but it's your touchstone, is going to answer as many of those big four questions as possible. And if you look at some of the bigger brands, they do this in such a sweet manner. So learn and develop your touchstone over time. You'll get there. The fifth thing I want you to take from this, and, and this is kind of the wrap up the video, is uh, Mark talks about selling your second and your third glass, which means once you have clients, Make it your priority to continue to serve them because it is significantly much easier and cheaper to sell a second and a third glass to an existing client than it is to get your first project with your first client. So I hope you got some value from this. Um, I would highly recommend you read The Irresistible Offer. And other than that, please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Also, subscribe for more content in the future. Hit that notification bell. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I'd really appreciate it. And I will be back with more. Have a great day. Peace.